Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection December 25, 2021 Christmas The Nativity of Our Lord Mass During the Day We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7 to 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is King. Hark! Your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy. For they see directly, before their eyes, the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Psalms chapter 98 verse 1 to 6. Let our response be, All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him. His holy arm. Response. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Response. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Response. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. Response. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 to 6. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took a seat at the right hand of the Majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son? This day I have begotten you? Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me? And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The Word of the Lord. Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, 
And this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light. So that all might believe through him. He was not the light. But came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world. And the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own. But his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name. Who were born not by natural generation nor by human choice nor by a man's decision but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory. The glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received, grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel The prologue is the first thing which one sees in opening the Gospel of John. But it was the last part to be written. It is the final summary, placed at the beginning. In it, John describes the way of the Word of God. It was at the side of God, before the creation, and through him all things were created. Everything which exists is an expression of the word of God, as it happens with the wisdom of God. In the same way the word wishes to get closer to us and becomes flesh in Jesus. It came in our midst and carried out its mission and returned to God. Jesus is this word of God. Everything that it says and does is communication which reveals the Father to us. In saying, in the beginning was the word, John recalls the first sentence of the Bible which says, in the beginning God created heaven and earth. God created all things by means of his word. He speaks and everything is made. All creatures are an expression of the word of God. This living word of God, present in all things, shines in darkness. Darkness tries to overpower it, but it could not succeed. The search for God, which is always new, is reborn in the human heart. Nobody succeeds in covering it. We cannot bear to live without God for a long time. John the Baptist comes to help people to discover and to relish this luminous and consoling presence of the Word of God in life. The witness of John the Baptist has been very important, so much so that many people thought that he was the Christ. This is why the prologue clarifies, saying, John was not the light. He has come to bear witness to the light. Thus, as the word of God manifests itself in nature, in creation, so also it is manifested in the world, that is in the history of humanity, particularly, in the history of the people of God. But the world does not recognize, does not receive the word. He came to his own and his own people did not accept him. Here when he says people, John wants to indicate the system of the empire as well as that of the religion of the time. Both of them closed up in themselves and, because of this, incapable of recognizing the good news, the luminous presence of the word of God. But the people who open themselves to accept the word become sons and daughters of God. The person becomes son or daughter of God not because of their own merits, neither because of belonging to the race of Israel, 
but because of the simple fact of having trust and believing that God in His goodness, accepts and receives us. The Word of God penetrates within the person and makes the person feel accepted as a son or daughter of God. This is the power of the grace of God. God does not want to remain far away from us. Because of this, His Word, gets closer and becomes present in our midst in the person of Jesus. The prologue literally says, And the Word became flesh and lived among us. In ancient times, at the time of Exodus, in the desert, God lived in a tent among the people. Now, the tent in which God dwells with us is Jesus, filled with grace and truth. Jesus comes to reveal who this is. Our God, present in everything, from the beginning of creation. Everything that exists is an expression of the Word of God, a revelation of His presence. Am I sufficiently contemplative to be able to receive and experience this universal presence of the Word of God? What does it mean for me to be called a son of God? The Lord comes. He is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with saving justice and the nations with constancy.